but I am going to talk about styling this this text. So here we are in footer row one settings again. And we can also set the uh, heading style. So if you want to set the heading style, check that button and hit save. And now you'll have a whole bunch of choices that show up down here. The first choice is the font size. Now I think I'm going to leave the font heading alone. But I definitely want to customize the font color. So I'm going to pick a really dark blue color. And I want to customize the row heading background color, which is going to be white. Yeah, let's just see what that looks like. We'll, we'll, we'll customize that heading background color there. And we're also going to make the text bold. We'll center the heading text. We'll remove the all caps. And I think we'll just go down to one pixel. So let's say save and refresh it. Okay, there we go. So now we have a white background and we've changed the way the heading looks. I can see now that the other thing I need to do is add some padding. So I could say five pixels of padding and that would give me a little bit more space here. So I've got a little bit more room there. Okay, so you can change the color and you can change the font style. If you want to change the font family or the font size, you can do that from the thesis design options menu. So the next thing I want to do is I want to change up this text here. If we come back over to our footer row background style, not footer row background style, footer row text style, and select customize the font style, and refresh it. Now we can come down and change the colors. So let's say I want my font link color to be white, and I mean my font color to be white, and let's say the link color is a light blue gray and the hover color is the EFEFEF -E -F -E -F gray color. So now if I save this and I refresh it, okay, that has changed the this to white. It's a bad color choice naturally, but nevertheless it's changed my uh, link color and my hover color here from the default. Now, if you want to go back to the default, you can easily come back to the default and say you don't want to customize it and then hit save. Refresh it. And what this default is, is this is what you've set in thesis design options. So you can make this change in thesis design options so long as you want it to apply to every row. Now the thing is though that you might want this to be different on the one row than it is on another, which is why I have that setting there.